He was the defender of the underdog. He defended the weak and the small. It was 4 a.m. when Steve Notham had two officers knock on his front door. First thing I said was, it's 4 a.m. who died. And uh, they said it was Stephen. His son, Officer Steve Notham II, was in his car helping a fellow Carrollton police officer with a DWI arrest on President George Bush Turnpike around 10.30 last night when an 82-year-old driver hit him, killing both the driver and Officer Notham. This officer served valiantly, and we also we all know that uh, the heavy risk involved um, in public safety today. Notham's life was about service. He served two tours in Iraq for the Marines from 2006 to 2011. That's the kind of kid he was. He wanted to matter. He wanted. It started as a high schooler when Steve would fight bullies who picked on his friend named Sam, who had cystic fibrosis. Steve got back from his first tour of Iraq to learn that Sam was pretty much on his deathbed. Steve vowed, told Sam, that he would name his, his son Sam after him. And within an hour, his friend Sam died. His father and relatives live in Wisconsin, which is where he served as an officer for four years before coming to Carrollton. Notham also served his wife, a 13-year-old son, two twin six-year-old boys, and a one-year-old daughter. And when they asked for warmer weather, they all moved to Carrollton in March of 2020. He really, really loved his kids. More than most husbands do. That was his whole life. That in, the, that in his service to his community service, those two things were it. A life of service completed, a legacy not soon forgotten. In Carrollton, I'm William Joy.